Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's going to get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. Following an investigation by the Special Prosecutor's Unit, April Bradford, 51 of Weeksbury, pled guilty to crimes involving the sexual assault of minors. In her plea, Bradford admitted to sexually abusing two minors between 1997 and 2007, both of whom she taught and coached during their middle and high school years. I mean, it's just a huge win for us. Um, it's, it's been a long time coming. Um, the community seemed somewhat divided. You know, people are always hesitant or they refuse to believe when someone like April really puts out this persona and I think that's why it's so important to keep your eye on your kids you know because any kid is vulnerable to it and any one of the you know the authority can do that and it's it's scary but now there's one less person out there to bother the kids. Justice was served. Bradford worked in education for 26 years and coached for 13. Following today's plea, she will serve three and a half years in jail. She will also be a lifetime sex offender registrant under the Kentucky Sex Offender Registry. One comment that kept coming up to us is, why, why do they wait so long? And it's very important for survivors of trauma, any kind of trauma, but especially sexual abuse. To, it takes a while to process and there's a lot of guilt and shame that comes Shame. with that and sometimes it, it may take 20 years but that's okay you know you gotta if you want if you want to speak on your trauma speak on it yes. because it does it, it's healing it is freedom it's freedom to those stuff of little children that we had you know going on in our own bodies yeah. the experience that we were having you know today we experience freedom freedom for the truth no other child should suffer and go through what we went through not at all. They don't deserve it, and neither did we. Sentencing for Bradford will be held February 29th, 2024. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.